Hello friends, welcome to this session. Today's session we'll see how you can set up AWS Cognito to use Azure AD as federated identity provider to authenticate the users. It can happen that your users are all in Azure AD, but your application is deployed in AWS Fargate containers behind AWS ALB. Then in such case, you can still authenticate your user before they access the application through AWS ALB. Only thing you have to do is you have to set up Azure AD as federated identity provider in AWS Cognito and then make your ALB to initiate the authentication through AWS Cognito. So we'll show you in easy steps what needs to be configured in AWS Cognito to make this flow work. This diagram here shows the authentication flow for a user trying to authenticate before accessing the application. User will run a URL or the endpoint to access the application which will hit the AWS ALB. AWS ALB will initiate authentication with AWS Cognito using OAuth2. Then Cognito will initiate SAML 2.0 requests to Azure AD Azure AD will present login form to user where user will enter username password to authenticate. Credentials will be submitted. Azure AD will authenticate and validate that user is valid and the response will be sent back to AWS Cognito using the callback URL. From Cognito code will be sent to AWS ALB. This authorization code will be used in the next request to get the token. Cognito will respond back with the access token. ALB will set this access token in its headers and send the request to application running in AWS Fargate. And once that is validated, the results will be shown to user. So in today's demo, I will show you what needs to be done in Azure AD and in AWS Cognito to configure. I will not show how to configure AWS ALB or application containers in Fargate. There is another video which shows how you can deploy your containers behind ALB and use Cognito. So you can follow that one. So let's get started with the demo. We we'll log into AWS Cognito, go to user pools, create user pool. Cognito user pool sign in options. Uh, we'll select email. Next. Password policy, we'll leave it default. Multi factor authentication, we'll say no MFA right now for demo purpose. User account recovery, we'll leave it default. Next. Configure sign up experience, attribute verification and user account confirmation. All these things we'll leave it default. Next. Email provider, send email through SES. No, we can select send email with Cognito. Next. User pool name. So let's give a user pool name. Hosted authentication pages, leave it. We'll not create any appliant right now. We have to create, but we'll create after creating the user pool. Okay, it seems in new flow, it's mandatory to create one. So we'll create one confidential client. We'll call it. And confidential client will actually generate a client secret as well. Next. So review and create. So our user pool is created now. In our user pool, now we'll create a domain. So go to app integration, action, create Cognito domain and give some name. And it shows it is available and then create Cognito domain. So copy this URL because we'll need this. Our domain is created. I copied this URL because we need to use it for configuring Azure AD. This is a reply URL which we need to supply when we configure Azure AD. And there we have to provide this domain name. So I'll paste this here. And this will become our reply URL. Also we need to configure ID which will be as identifier. And the format will be something like this where this part you have to replace with your user pool. So we'll get this from here you see this this is the user pool ID copy this so these are the two data which we have to provide in Azure AD now we will log into Azure portal and configure it so we'll go to portal once you log in select Azure Active Directory you can search otherwise this service in there 
find enterprise applications click on it click new application and here again click create your own application you can give it a name select the option integrate any other application and click create it may take a couple of minutes to create it the application is created now and you will see this option set up single sign on click on this click on SAML and now we will configure these settings first we will add it basic SAML configuration and here it will ask for identifier and entity ID this is what we will add from our data so this is what we prepared copy this and then there is reply URL so add reply URL rest we can leave it save so basic SAML configuration is configured close this now copy this URL app federation metadata URL we will need it later or you can download federation metadata XML either of it so we'll copy this URL keep it I'm assuming that you already have a user created in Azure AD if so we need to just go to users and group here to assign some user or that specific user to this app so click add user group none is selected for this app right now and here it will give you your users in AD so let's say I select these two users and now they have access to this app and assign so application assignment succeeded and one more point we need to copy some attribute URLs as well so we go back to single sign on and here attributes and claims click edit and these are additional claims so these also we should copy if you want to map these attributes in Cognito I would like to map email address so I'll copy this claim URL and save it and when we go to configure Cognito I will use this so now everything is done we'll go back to Cognito to configure it so in Cognito user pool go to sign in experience this has changed from the old screen so I'm still trying to figure it out sign in experience here you will see federated identity provider sign in here we will create one identity provider on this screen select SAML set up SAML federation with this user pool provider name give some provider name say Azure AD and upload metadata document so I have not downloaded a document if you recall I actually copied the link so I will provide the link here and this is the link which you need to provide and map attributes between SAML provider and your user pool so I want email so I will provide a link for this as well and add identity provider so it's added now so now we'll configure app client we'll go to app integration and this is the app client which we added select app client and here hosted UI so this is what we have to configure add callback URL this will be the URL where the authorization code and then access token will be sent back and for my setup it will send to this domain this is one of my subdomains which is pointing to ALB's DNS the ALB which I've created and I have to append with OAuth2 slash IDP response if you do not have your own subdomain you can actually directly mention your ALB the DNS here and that will become the callback URL and the response will go directly to your ALB uh, the details I have provided in another video where I show how you can set up ALB 
and containers and use Cognito for authentication so that step remains same in this as well then identity providers now here you see we can either use Cognito for identity provider or Azure AD I will select Azure AD uh, OAuth 2 grant types will be authorization code grant open ID connect scope mm, we can select open ID email and custom scopes leave it and save changes so our app client is set up now now we are ready to test this setup if you recall this is what the setup will look like we already have AWS ALB setup we just now configured AWS Cognito and we created federated identity provider Azure AD in it we already have applications deployed the only thing remaining is to test and see whether user gets authenticated when it makes a call to the endpoint so I open a browser go to https colon slash slash test dot .com. this is the endpoint enter and you see it has redirected me to login Microsoft it is asking me login details now if you compare this with the flow here as soon as the request hit ALB it initiated a request to Cognito to authenticate without knowing which entity will actually authenticate but Cognito knew this authentication will be SAML based and it will be done by Azure AD so request went to Azure AD and Azure AD has presented this login form now so if we come back here username password and sign in no and you see I got the welcome home page so after submitting my details it validated provided response provided code then ALB used that authorization code to get the access token and forwarded the request to my containers and I received the final result from the containers so now this access token is kept as a session cookie so if I want to access any other endpoints it will just use that access token and get me the results unless that access token expires and it will again request for refreshing it so you can see it's easy to set up Azure AD as a federated identity provider through AWS Cognito and still get your user authenticated to access your applications behind ALB well I hope you like this session and it will help you to set up your federated identity provider that's very much for this one and we'll see you in next one thank you so much